morning, December 26th. It's about 23 degrees out down here on my 43 foot egg harbor. And we are trying to get it warm. It's a little chilly, so we've got the space heater going, fan going. I think we got it up to about 60 degrees in here. And are going to start pulling apart the 671 Detroit diesel. We're getting some antifreeze blowing out the back exhaust. We're not finding any in the oil and we're not seeing it leaking anywhere um, other than off of this um, water manifold on the top where it says high temperature. That's the water manifold. And um, there's a little crack in that, so we're going to get that either repaired or replaced. And then we're going to pull the exhaust manifold off, which is right next to it. And then also the adapter and then the turbo. We'll start working on that and see how far we get today. We meaning I, since all of my friends are much smarter sitting at home, we've uh, taken off the heat exchanger, pressure tested that. And we heated that up. We didn't see any any leaks on that. Held about 20 pounds with heat, so it got pretty hot. And thought maybe there'd be a leak there where we could expand the metal, and maybe something would start to leak. Did not find anything. We actually did pressure test the exhaust manifold, the adapter, and the turbo as one unit, and. We didn't find any leaks on that either. Uh, that's a wet exhaust, so there's antifreeze that runs through those three components. Nothing leaked on that. No, no air pressure uh, leaked out of that. We went up to about 35 psi. I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, from what I hear, that's sufficient to find a leak, even if it was something we had to heat up. So we are going to heat that up, get a little bit hotter, and. Uh, We'll pump it back up and see if that's leaking. If not, we're going to pull the head off, which uh, maybe there's a crack in the head. We're, we're not sure. So we're going to just do one thing at a time. And so we're going to kind of get at it here. Uh, what I like to do is I like to put some zip ties, different colors, um, on the hoses and any wires we take off. And we'll take a whole bunch of pictures so that we can reference where those wires go. Sometimes you start taking things off and you don't know where it went. And then you got more of a mystery. So um, it's always better just to tag it somehow. And I just like tagging it with zip ties. I did that with the oil cooler and the fuel cooler. That worked really well. So it's a transmission cooler there. That's our um, heat exchanger for the transmission fluid. Or the transmission oil, I'll say, and the uh, the fuel, so the fuel is not put back into the tank cold. It causes a lot of condensation, so they have a cooler for that. So we're going to get at it here and start taking things apart. <laughs> 